And Clayton County, while well, it appears to be one of the hardest hit with the boil water advisory in place for many residents this evening. And Clayton County Water Authority has been hard at work today repairing leaks and distributing water to people dealing with all of those outages. Yeah, this is really a mess. 11 Elias Palo Cerro was out there at uh, Forest Park where the city was giving away hundreds of cases of water outside the police department to those who need it. So Paolo, what was the response like there? Yeah, you know, Ron, the city bought more than 200 cases of water and gave out one per car. And in just three hours, all of those cases were gone. Cars lined up around the corner of the Forest Park Police Department. You can see them right there with people waiting to get their cases after spending Christmas with no water or low water pressure in their homes. Clayton County Water Authority staff says they have been responding to leaks after freezing temperatures caused some pipes to break, leading the county to issue a boil water advisory for some residents. They say many of the leaks reported today were in warehouses, businesses, schools and churches. And I spoke to several residents and even the Forest Park mayor about the uncertainty of when the water will be restored in their homes. Estamos tristes porque it's not a great feeling. We are sad because on Christmas, I woke up to make tamales and realized we had no water. It made me cry because I wanted to cook that for my family. Now we are worried because we don't know when the water might come back. If you have no pressure, such as myself, consider yourself blessed. There are so many other tragedies that could go on that we are truly blessed when we look at the bigger scheme of things. Now, Mayor Angeline Butler, who you just heard from, she tells me they are expecting to receive more water cases from GEMA and will let residents know when that happens. She also says Clayton County Water Authority has not given her a timeline yet on when the water could return, but suggests reaching out to the city's non-emergency number with any concerns.